good morning guys and welcome back to another video here in Islamabad today we are travelling to Karachi uh, we got the train up to Islamabad so now we're going to try the plane and see what the difference is like maybe it'll be obviously it'll be quicker but is it more of an experience is it funner we've tried train bus and now we're trying a plane so guys we're doing all types of transportation just for you guys nice views I'm going to miss these green green uh sites of Islamabad. Shukriya Johnny. Yeah, my friend. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz Shukriya. boss. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Okay guys, we're here. It's looking rather nice if you ask me. Very clean. And just a domestic departure today so hopefully it'll be fairly stress free. Assalamu alaikum. How are you sir? Alhamdulillah, fine. Good, What's good. What's about you, sir? Oh, I'm amazing. I'm great. Um, please may I have your finest Americano in a large. You want in uh, hot or cold? Hot, please. Yes, sir. And a one of these bad boys, chocolate chip cookie. Okay, sir. Thank you very much. So one large Americano, sir? Large one Americano. Chocolate chip cookie, sir. That's it. Six two six. Thank you, Faisan. We've got an absolutely huge coffee. We've got the dankest cookie. Sir Mac has an Oreo cupcake. You already know. I live in the dream. And what's this with a heart on? That's a cap. By cap, I mean cappuccino. Ah, oh, nice. I'm gonna let it cool down, and then we're gonna dig in. This is a hundred IQ levels. Oh, oh dipping it in the coffee. Little dip, dip, ski. Now the Brit is really coming out. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Guys, I'm gonna wait for this. Guys, I will say, dipping it in the coffee is it's different. It's just different, mate. It's so good. Oh, now it's dripping it, bro. But just making that hard, but it, cause it's quite hard. Making it very soft, just melts in your mouth. I'm gonna dip the whole thing in my coffee, and I have no shame. And it's eight in the morning. I don't care. Shukriya, Jani. Bye bye. Um, had a nice little coffee, and now we're going to find the gate. We're not. I'd say this this airport is very nice, very clean, very quiet. I think it's because we're here at like eight in the morning. Um, yeah, really nice experience and security was very quick to go through, no issues at all, very nice people, yeah, happy. Slightly delayed, I think the flight was a bit late to come at the first flight before, so we're about 20 minutes late with uh, Pakistan Airlines, which seems to be a pretty nice airline I think. Assalamu alaikum. Good, good. First impressions, pretty nice. It's just like a three by three layout. Got a nice little window seat and um, decent amount of leg room. Very clean. So, very good. And so, guys, for this flight, we paid around $80. So, not bad actually. It's only a two hour flight. So, I mean, you could probably get a two hour flight in England for about $10 but I think for Pakistan that's a fairly decent price and uh, yeah, very happy so far. We've actually got a meal that's been given to us. I was actually quite surprised because this is only a two hour flight. Now, I would never have a flight where you get a meal for just two hours, but that just goes to show maybe that's why it's like more expensive. Looks really good, so I'm gonna dig into it now. We've got like a sandwich and some kind of dessert, I'm not too sure what this is, and then obviously coffee. I have no idea what it is, but it looks good. It's kind of like a sponge cake with nuts on top. Yeah, very nice. Shukriya, Allah Al Hafiz. Well, guys, it is hot. Okay guys, and we are out. That was a pretty smooth process to be fair. Um, quick flight, 
We had to wait quite a long time for baggage, but it's okay. Seems to be very busy in Karachi. And uh, now we're gonna try and find a hotel and a taxi. We've we had a look and I think uh, we wanna get somewhere near the hotel, near the airport, so we're thinking from Marda. Although the reviews aren't very good, but we just want somewhere near the airport. 1,000 to Ramada Plaza. Well, the guy over there said 2,000, so... Alright, 1,000. <laughs> uh, Mac, M-A-C? C-A-N. So, even though the taxi's 10 minutes away, apparently the minimum charge to get out of the airport is 1,000, which is like 5 $7. So, it's a bit, a bit annoying, but it's okay. And then, obviously, of course, on top of the taxi, there's always a porter. The porter expects money, so... <laughs> I think we'll just take our bags ourselves because but we have the taxi which is the main thing you didn't do anything brother i didn't i you... said no porter and you followed me no, just say just say no just say no porter. yeah thank you very much <laughs> you didn't help, you didn't do anything. 100 rupees, 100. You didn't do anything. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll pay the driver. <laughs> and, like, I, we Thank you. Taxi driver, and so we followed Porter the taxi Porter. driver out. And, uh, the <laughs> he didn't do anything. Yeah, Porter said us. We he, told him, we told him no he didn't porter. didn't do anything. We told him. <laughs> I, I took my we, bag. I carried my bag. <laughs> I literally carried my bag. What a man. Yo, yo, I, I, I told him no porter service and I carried my bag. Why would I pay? I carried my bag. Oh no, this is poor man. Little, little children. Give me money. No. Well, the, the, so I'm not sure how much of that I got on camera, but that was just so, so stupid. Basically, we, we found a taxi, a thousand for 10 minute journey. Okay, fine. That's we're leaving the airport, so that's acceptable. Then Porter starts walking with us. We said, no Porter, thank you, because it will issue like a, a 30 second walk to the taxi. And like, I'm absolutely fine taking my bags, even at like a hotel, like I, it's a nice privilege to have a Porter, but I, I don't feel like I need one. So we were like, no Porter, I was, we were all walking with our bags. And then we get in the taxi and he expects money. Obviously he doesn't expect much, but, it's not about how much, it's not about that, it's about like, he did not help us one bit and um, then he was like playing the, the family card, like he just wouldn't leave so I gave him 200 in the end which is it obviously, it's, it's not a lot of money at all but it's not about that, it's about the principle and if I, if I kept giving money out to people randomly then I would have no money so a little bit annoying, just gotta be careful for that when you come to the airport obviously Taxi is fine, but just with porters, you just gotta be careful. It's happened multiple times now. It's happened for our train journey. It's happened for our. It obviously, it happens at hotels, but that's acceptable. And um, it's happened for our airports. So yeah. Okay, guys. So we made it to the room. I think we paid $120 in the end. We're still trying to figure out because they have the deposit on and they haven't given us our invoice yet. But yeah, $120 for the basic room. Pretty nice to be fair, very clean. For some reason, the reviews, when I looked on TripAdvisor, the reviews were really, really, really bad, like terrible. And then we come here and it's not been a bad experience at all. We did have to wait for a long time for our room, but that was because we just walked in and tried to get a room on the door like we didn't book in advance so that's not their fault at all so like I'm, I'm not really sure why there's so many bad reviews but yeah like show you a little tour of the place it's it is small that's the only one thing but like not it's it's exactly what we need it's got like all these soaps they've got like a nice shower and then like very clean two nice beds like a lounge area and a dining and a desk so i'm pretty happy with it it is a tiny bit dirty here but that's because i think maybe we might have made that mess to be fair okay guys we got a pasta alfredo We've got some chicken some mushroom pasta and some nice white sauce wow 
That is good. <laughs> G double O D. That is G double O D, bro. <laughs> um, yeah, like really nice. The sauce is really nice. There's a lot of it, and there's this nice herb on top. I'm not 100% sure what that is. Chicken. I haven't got. I haven't got a good bit of the chicken to be fair. So we've got Sakib and Esan, is that right? Yes, Hooking us up with a delicious meal and that cost around uh, $14, so very good value for money for two, two meals. So yeah, happy with that. Now we are going to get a PCR test. Basically I've got a flight tomorrow very late, so I saw at the hotel they do an option where they come to your hotel and do a PCR test, so I'm excited to try that. It was around $25, so that's not too bad at all. Assalamu alaikum. The PCR test? Yes. Okay, say Good. So this is probably my 50th COVID test of 2021. But you just gotta get used to them. That's the new world we live in, guys. Hopefully he doesn't go too far up. Yeah. <laughs> Straight face and be relaxed, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay, relax. Uh, then check in. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. <sighs> That's weird. Good. Good? Yeah. You feel better? Feel I'll never been better. Yeah, okay, Fahad. Thank you very much. And yeah, great service. See you soon. Nice to meet you. Thank you for subscribing. See you soon. That was actually really convenient. Very con okay guys, yeah, that was very convenient. It took about 10 minutes, he came to my hotel. It cost a little bit more than I expected, it was uh, around $35. But, you know, it's what it is, you have to pay it. So, got on with it, 10 minutes done, and we are back in the hotel. And now, I think I'm gonna try out the gym and sauna, because I'm in need of a good rest before I have a very long journey home. Okay guys. Not really too sure what exercise is working. Maybe the, the pectoral muscles, but no day up guys. You already know. <laughs> Back to some weird Whoa. camera movements. <laughs> there we go bro, getting yoked. The main thing about going to the gym is about enjoying it. If you can't enjoy it, then you won't do it. So, you've got to have fun. It's a pretty cool gym. It's uh, quite small, but very loud music. So, we're in this. We just had a nice little gym session. Wasn't in there too long, maybe like half an hour, 40 minutes. And now we've got the jacuzzi of dreams. Thank you, boss man, for setting up. What's your name? Abkanam Kehe. My name Mohammed Akram. Mohammed. Mohammed Akram. Nice to meet you. It's lovely facilities. Ah, uh, Akram. Yeah. Akram the man, like the cricket player. Thank you. Assalam. Okay, guys, this looks inviting, if I do say so myself. Sorry? Toasty, very toasty. Oh, oh, it's hot. Ah! Oh, it's boiling. Oh, I nearly got my phone wet. Also, guys, on the way here, it's lovely facilities, but on the way here, I um, I did see a rat, which I'm not a big fan of. Um, I think he wanted to come home in my suitcase with me, it was being rather friendly, but uh, yeah, no. Apart from that, it's pretty nice, you can't complain. I'm nice and warm from that jacuzzi. And now it's time for a full send in the pool. Full send we aerobro? We've got, we've got the USA diving team and the, uh -huh. and the British diving team. Ready? I missed your dive, how was it? It was a 10 out of 10. Yeah? Oh guys, it is actually well warm in here. But yeah, nice vibes, very ambient, very chilled. We've got like a restaurant over here serving seafood. I hope you guys can hear me. Where's, I'm not sure where the mic is. Um, but yeah guys, I haven't actually spoken much about like my whole experience in Pakistan and I know a couple of people have been asking. But. I might do like a separate video or I might talk about it more in my Q&A but all in all I've had 
the craziest experience, four of the most intense and enjoyable weeks of my life. It's gone so quickly. We've been going very, very hard because we made, I've made 50 YouTube videos in the end. So I'm so happy with everything. And obviously like the growth of my YouTube channel has been absolutely incredible. Like I started YouTube in November and at the, at the time of this recording, I have 13K. Who knows what I'll have when this post goes out. Hopefully 20K would be nice, maybe more, I don't know. At this point, anything's possible, but like, I'm just gonna go with it. I'll definitely, definitely be back in Pakistan because there's a lot of areas I've missed. Obviously couldn't, couldn't explore the whole country, but if you guys have any recommendations for next time, I definitely wanna go to Skardu, definitely wanna go to Peshawar, Kashmir, and a few other places. I'll never ever forget this. And if there's one thing which I definitely won't forget, it's the hospitality and the kindness of the people here. It's something that gets talked about a lot, but I want everyone to know that it, it literally is incredible. I'm not just saying that. And also another thing which I will talk about in another video is about like the safety, because that's like the main thing people think of when they think of Pakistan, is it safe? And I will say wholeheartedly, I think it's safe. If you've been watching any of my vlogs, I really, really appreciate you. And um, hopefully one day I can repay you with you know, I'm trying to keep up with all the messages, it's hard. I'm trying to keep up with all the comments, it's very hard. But that's the one thing I do want to always have time for is the comments because I really want to have a good relationship with the people that I that subscribe to me. I don't want to be just this guy that just posts and doesn't care about his followers because I do care. And one day I would like to repay you, I'm not sure how, but like I will start doing like giveaways and stuff like that. And if you guys have any suggestions as to how like I can help other people who follow me, it's a good idea. I've got some crazy ideas for in the future with my YouTube channel, but for now I'm just focusing on growing my subscriber base and then when I'm more established I can start to give back and start to do more of what I just want to do, which is being helping people out, traveling to cool places and living in the moment. So thank Hi guys, I just wanted to quickly say um, the, the vlog's not over yet, don't worry, and the Pakistan series is not over yet. I think I've got two more videos to come. But I wanted to say that the next series is gonna be straight after the Pakistan series. And although a lot of my viewers are from Pakistan, you might not be as interested because it's not Pakistan, but I would like to invite you to carry on watching the next country I'm in. I won't tell you yet. Some of you will know, but don't tell anyone where I am. You'll find out in a few days. Um, I would like you to carry on watching because I think that you guys will enjoy it. It's something that is something that's very different to where I am from the UK. It's a diff very different place. And I just think that it'll, you guys will enjoy it because it's very crazy, very cool. And I've got some really, really good videos coming out. So, you know, maybe just try it. And then if you don't like it, I'm not gonna force you to carry on watching, you know? All I'm saying is try one video. And if you don't like it, that's no problem. Feel free to watch another Pakistan series if you want to. Uh, maybe watch my friend World Nomax Pakistan series. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm really excited to show you the next country. And yeah, it's been a crazy, crazy time in Pakistan. I really want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. If you've watched any videos, I know some of you have been watching every video, like it's been like a Netflix series. And that just makes me, when I see the messages saying that they've watched every video and it's like, part of their routine, their, like their daily routine is like, get home from work and watch my video. Just, that blows my mind and I'm so thankful. So yeah guys, l the last bit of this video is just gonna be um, me and my friends enjoying some birthday cake for my friend's birthday. And yeah, we had a really, really good time. Um, I just forgot to end the vlog because maybe I had a few too many cervezas. Yeah, this is raw, guys. guys. Oh my god, that chocolate cake mesmerizing. I need another slice, <laughs> guys. I haven't given you any context as to where we are, but it is our friend's birthday. Happy birthday, so much! Thank you, honey. and we're here in the yeah. I'll can I have a slice, please? Yeah, a slice. Okay. Slice. You're not gonna eat out of the cake. No, I'm jealous. I'm the groom. I'm not gonna do anything. I'm gonna do a proper taste test. Hmm? I'm jealous. When's your birthday? What month? Fifth May. Fifth of May. 
We're actually, we're going to be back in uh, <laughs> Pakistan on the 5th of May. It's my birthday today too. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. No, that's gone. The moment is you gone. You can't. It's yeah. my day. Yeah, I'm kidding. <laughs> thank you, brother. Thank you, Robert. Thank you for putting on a good show for us, Robert. Thank you, Robert. Thank you, Johnny. You're most welcome. Okay, guys. Look at this. Look at this. Guys, I don't have chocolate cake often. When I do, I go hard. <laughs> oh my god, that is the best chocolate be cake I've ever had. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. You've got different flavors of chocolate, guys. You've got layers on layers on layers. We've got icing, we've got cake, we've got Guys. Chocolate on our lips. And then my, I sprinkle my own blessings. And we've got these kind of, they almost look like seashells. They're so elegant. <laughs> we've got a little bit of a topping on top. Guys, this is this is the life. Like, I'm just, I'm so happy right now. <laughs> <laughs>